Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about Aeliad Ruins, and what's inside of them in Oblivion, and why you should raid them. Aeliad Ruins are interesting to me. Most of the time, they have undead, um, but sometimes they have, you know, the humanoids, or the natural, like, uh, spriggans, or imps, or something like that. Or... The ant things, I don't know what they're called. I call them latex ants, okay? I know they're called something else. I call them latex ants for some reason. So what's inside Aeliad Ruins? Now, inside of them is the unique items of Varla Stones, Welkin Stones, and Aeliad Statues. Aeliad Statues are part of the Umbacondo quest, which allow you access to get the best helmet in the game for magic that levels up all of your magic skills by, I believe, 20. So, not only is it that, but something else that... Um, the Welkin Stones. They max out your magic. You use one, it maxes out your magic. Varla Stones, you use one, it maxes out the charge on your weapon. So those are really valuable items. And they're actually pretty valuable. I think the Welkin Stones are very common, but they're worth 50 gold apiece. The Varla Stones, 1,000 apiece. Plus or minus, you know, the whole Merchantile modifier stuff. But in terms of the actual Aeliad Casks and the loot that you find... In my experience, most of the stuff I find is gold, potions, and jewelry. I don't find a lot of armor. I don't find a lot of enchanted weapons. It's usually just gold, enchanted rings, and normal jewelry, and lots of potions, I find. I actually find if I need to restock on potions, there's a chance I'll do really good if I do Aeliad Ruins. Now, sometimes I still find maybe a enchanted piece of clothing or enchanted armor, but... Alien Ruins, I feel like if you're running out of money, that's where you raid, okay? Because in the beginning of the game, you're not going to find enchanted equipment, but the jewelry is still worth a lot of money, and the jewelry is where it's at. Later on in the game, rings are some of the most interchangeable part. Like They're in interchangeable because they're so lightweight, and so it's really nice to have extra rings for different situations. Different things like shield versus fire resistance or magic resistance or whatever. You know, using that is really, really good. And it's really easy to stock up on enchanted rings and necklaces if you're looting Aeliad Ruins. So I think that's what they're really, really good for. Now, they're also good, of course, for the mage character because of the magic restoration that Welkin Stones give. I think that's really important. If you're playing a pure mage, I, dude, I'm playing a pure mage. I raid Aeliad Ruins only for Welkin Stones. Everything else is a bonus. I mean, I need the gold, I guess, to buy alchemical ingredients, but everything else just seems like a bonus to me. And then, of course, we have the Varla Stones. Those things... I mean, soul gems are common enough to where I don't really think you need to worry about Varla Stones. They're just cool. Plus, you can sell them for a lot of money. And that's really it for Aeliad Ruins. You find, find a lot of undead here, so you'll get a lot of ectoplasm and bone meal and... If you want to swap to Blunt, eventually you could do that because of the Skeleton Champions, but or maybe you want Liches and you want to get the Staffs. But really, just raid Aeliad Ruins for the, the gold and the riches and the statues. So that's my opinion on Aeliad Ruins. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. I know this is a short video, but there's nothing to really say about Aeliad Ruins. Again, the Ubukondo quest happens with these things. And I think it's a pretty cool quest. It's worth it to do if you haven't done it because it gives you really good equipment. But that's it, guys. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.